Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Drive to Reviews and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm not in my usual right. It's because I've just taken delivery of this brand new Tiguan All Space R line. So this is the 2022 model, uh, pre facelift though. So this is actually the last batch of the Tiguan, uh, at least for the manufacturing year of 2022. So of course there is the new version Tiguan outline. So yeah, I decided to go with the previous uh, facelift is because I personally like the design and I like the physical buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, and there are many uh, small, small things that I still like about the previous generation Tiguan. I'll be talking more about that in the full review when I get more time to actually test and uh, get my thoughts all uh, organized about this car. So I've just taken delivery of this car last Saturday. So by the time you're watching this video, it will be almost a week. So a week is uh, kind of a short period if you're talking about the small quirks of the car and um, the things that I like and I don't like. So I do want to spend more time with this car so I can give you more insight on the things that I like and the things I don't like about this car. So I've already gathered some of them as I used it through the couple of days. Of course, I did take this car uh, down to Malacca and also uh, traveling around the town and uh, observing how the fuel consumption is as well. So I will cover all of that in the fuel review later. But anyway, today will be a POV drive. So you can get a rough idea of how the engine sounds like. Uh, there are no fake sounds on this uh, SUV compared to the Arteon. So these are all natural engine sounds and also you'll be able to get a rough idea of the cabin noise. Of course, it's not gonna translate well through the camera uh, mic. So I'm using a GoPro Hero 9 right now. Uh, I'm not using external mic, so it's the internal inbuilt mic of the GoPro Hero 9. So you'll get a rough idea of the engine sound as compared to the road noise, the tire noise. So these are running on Pirelli Scorpion. 255 45 19 so this comes in 19 inch wheels because this is the outline version of the tiguan all space so honestly being able to own this car is something that i've always dreamed of but uh now that having owned this uh, i'm really really excited i love the all-wheel drive system and i love the different dcc modes uh yes dcc is kind of a 50 50 thing with a lot of users some people like the 1.4 tiguan where there is no dcc because it is much cheaper in the long run to actually maintain the suspension because the dcc costs a ton of money if you guys have owned uh, volkswagen cars with dcc or generally any car with an adaptive uh, suspension system you will know how much they cost but for me everyday driving this suv actually just feels like like a sedan um, the past uh, six to seven days I've been driving this car has been really, 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 really exciting. The drive has been really exciting. The power is more than adequate for SUV. Coming from the CRV, uh, which I actually sold, it was a 2019 CRV. I didn't get to review that car, but uh, anyways, the, the ownership, the past couple of years have been uh, so so. I think Honda has actually really dropped their standard, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, and I think that the CVT is really not a good companion uh, to the turbo engine as compared to the 7-speed DSG. So this has a 7-speed DSG as compared with the Golf. So the Golf has a 6-speed DSG wet clutch. This has a 7-speed DSG wet clutch as well. So you get stuff like launch control and things like that. And on top of that, uh, being a wet clutch, reliability is something you do not really have to worry about except for the clutch when it comes to the lifespan. Uh, as compared to my Civico, which has a dry clutch, that is a 7-speed dry clutch. Yeah, it has its share of problems with the mechatronic and I've changed the clutch as well. But for this, uh, on top of that, it has warranty, of course. Uh, but besides the warranty, you do not really have to worry much about the wet clutch. Of course, you do have to service your DSG oil on time and you have to practice small things, just like um, putting the car in neutral when at traffic lights and probably using manual in traffic jams to prevent like the clutch from uh, getting hot. Uh, when you're in stuck in traffic. Okay, so enough talking. Let's get into the POV drive. Uh, the road is a kind of wet, so I'm going to be taking things with more caution as compared with the other POV drives which I did before because that was done on uh, dry road, but this is wet road. Even though it has an all-wheel drive system, but we still have to practice caution when driving. I'm trying to be a responsible driver. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys uh, in the full review when I spend uh, probably a couple of weeks to a month 
of uh, using this car as my daily driver all right so i hope you guys like this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next video meanwhile enjoy the pov driving footage of the tiguan all space r line